data encapsulation example so here is one example for us any c++ program where you implement a class with public and private members is an example of data encapsulation and also data abstraction so learn let us go for one sample code for the better understanding so here we have defined one class adder under the public section there is one constructor in the previous video we have discussed what is a constructor and what is the purpose of a constructor so one adder is there whose name is same as that of the class name so this member function will be known as the constructor we are having another function that is known as the add num and this particular member function is defined under the public section so can be accessed from the outside of this class so interface to the outside world and we are having another another function that is the get total which returns the total value and under the private section we have defined this variable int total so from this respective member function we have defined one adder class object let it be a then a dot add num in this way we have passed three values that is 10 20 and 30 and then a dot get total is printing the respective total which will be calculated so i think for the better understanding let us go for one practical demonstration where we shall judge the code we shall explain the code once again we shall compile it and run it and the outputs will be explained once again for you so here is the demonstration for us in this class adder we are having one constructor adder which is a parameter as constructor we are having another member function which is defined under the public section so it is accessible from the outside world and name of the function member function is add num which takes a number as the input argument and which adds this number with the total and that is another function which is defined under the public scope so it can be accessed from the outside world and the name of the function is get total which returns the value in total so that's why this get total is having the output argument that is int so here we are having this private section is there which is containing which is having only one member function which is int total and it is it will remain hidden from the outside world because this total is defined under the private scope now you see here this total can be accessed from any member function defined under the same class so a member function defined under a class can access any other member variables or member functions defined under the same class in any section private protected or public so now here we have defined one adder class object that is a from a i just go i'm just going on adding what 10 20 and 30 with the variable total through the function add num because num is actually adding the value number the value in the number which is the input argument with the value in the total variable which is under the private section and at the end if i want to get the total then obviously i must be using a dot get total which will give me the respective total value and here you see the value is coming as 60 and that is quite obvious that the value will be 60 here because the value will be 60 here because you see here we have added this 10 20 and 30 so the value will be 60 in this case so if i execute the same code if i execute the same code using gnu c++ here the program name is proc 68.cpp so a.exe will be the output file and also it is giving the value as total 60 so in this way we have shown you that how this program is getting executed in dev c++ id and also using gnu c++ compiler for the compilation of the program for its execution thanks for watching this video